10 on your side first told you about food deserts in our community back in August. That describes a place where people have to travel miles to buy fresh food. That's about to change in one of those areas. Today, 10 on your side's Andy Fox toured the new Jim's local food market in Newport News. Andy, this is expected to really change the lives of people living nearby. Anita, it really is. It's something that uh, we take for granted, a grocery store near our homes. We take that for granted in the lower income neighborhood of Southeast Newport News. They don't have that store. They lost their only store, but now thanks to economic development, efforts are underway to open a new store that will open on May 10th. Think about this, the Fresh Fry Jefferson Avenue closed June 2014. Not until May 10th will the Southeast neighborhood have a full service grocery store. It's called Jim's Local Market, and this is Jim. And then the uh, first four doors of the uh, stand-up over there will all be produce. 29,000 square feet inside, including local and fresh produce. So the bakery will run along right to this uh, corner right here. Jim Scanlon giving walking tours, boasting of what city uh, officials hope helps turn around a neighborhood that needs turning around. It's a major issue as far as food access in the Southeast Corridor. Uh, came to me and asked me about my business plan, and we, we got together and pushed forward, and we're ready to open. The Mercers can't wait. Are people in the neighborhood talking about it? Yes. Yes, all yes. the time. All, all the, the time. time. What are yeah. they saying? They just can't wait for they it to open up. They can't wait for it to open. See what kind of good stuff they got, what kind of deals they got going on. Healthy foods, a community room to teach better eating habits. Yeah. Like I say, it's convenient. You know, you got to yeah. take, living here, if you don't have transportation, transportation you have to take yeah. a, a taxi. That's $12 and some change. Yeah. Versus if you stay right up in this area, you can walk. You're seeing firsthand how a delivery works. <laughs> There'll be a new bank. Bayport Credit Union is going to be taking this space right here. Most importantly, Jim's local market is about improving the quality of life for thousands of Newport News residents and people are stoked. I want to just be normal for your interview, but I will be tap dancing when I get out of the store. <laughs> And that is Councilwoman Tina Vick. The new store will bring 20 to 25 full-time jobs and 30 to 35 part-time jobs. A Newport News approached Jim Scanlon about this grocery store idea after hearing him speak about the importance of stores in areas known as food deserts. He did that in Richmond, where there are no nearby grocery stores. That's when Newport News reached out to him and said, hey, Maybe you can open up a store like this in our hometown, and that will happen on May 10th. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.